Hello. 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 We said hello to YouTube. All right. So there's a lot of uh, things to know for this test, right? We're, we, we learned a lot of fraction stuff, right, everybody? Yeah. yeah. So what I want to do, oh, there's our random Should we? Name. Should we show Why is there a, a thing up there? Remunerate. Oh, the right? Okay, so we know if we're adding subtracting fractions, the first thing we did was we need to have a common denominator because they have to be the same size, yeah. right? So yes. 4 eighths plus 1 eighths makes? 5 eighths. 5 eighths, but you have to have the same denominator. So something like this, if it's a third and a fourth, we have to get the common denominator. If it's not the same size pieces, then these don't make any sense, do they, everybody? No. Third and fourth, it has to be 12. Oh. Oh, oh. And, you have to share work. and you have to share work. Okay, what about multiplying fractions? Well, the, the first example I gave you was one fourth and one fourth, right? And what is one fourth of a candy bar of the fourth? Is one over uh, one over sixteen, right? If we take if we take one fourth of that fourth, it's one out of these sixteen boxes. So what do we do? We multiply 1 over 16. So if you forget, what do I do when I, when I multiply fractions? You can think about 1 fourth times a fourth. Think of a simple example. Yes. What about dividing fractions? Oh. Uh, uh, well, you can oh. think about keep change flip. Or you can think about... Reciprocal. You can think about the reciprocal, right? And here's, here's a little... Um, here's a little example. If you divide 2 6 into 4 sections, you get 4 24, which is the same thing as times 1 4. Times 1 4. I can't write on this right here. It won't let me. But 2 6 times 1 4. Please sit down here. Okay. You guys all see that? 2 6 times 1 4 would be the same. Yes. So I'm trying to give you some concept of that. All right. Moving on, moving on. Let's do it. Okay. Oh. No, I don't need that. I need. Uh, um, I can't see my mouse. Okay. Now I can see my mouse. There it is. Okay. All right. So first up, we have we have Juan coming all the way from where are you coming from, Juan? Uh, China. From China. <laughs> That's a long plane flight, man. All the way from China. Okay, how do we do number one? Pick a color, any color. Uh, red. Red. Okay, let's go. Okay, so you basically just the divide the numerator and denominator by six. Yeah, because the biggest number that goes into both is six. Now, we could have divided by two, but then we would have had to divide it again. So the answer is two over five. 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 Awesome. Okay, number two, Juan, how'd you do that one? Uh, so since it's, um, yeah, you do good guys, bad guys. Yeah, and we so, already have the common denominator, right? Yup. Okay. Yeah. So you put three in the bad guys and one in the bad guys. Right, and so that means that bad guys score four to zero. Yep. Negative four to five. Because bad guys win, right? Bad guys win, right? Good guys win, right? Good guys. Win, right? Good guys. Let's go, Juan. Okay, okay, next is Marcus coming all the way from Germany. Germany. Oh my God. Marcus, Marcus. For number three, yeah, you're gonna wanna find the, you're gonna wanna find the lowest common multiple by putting, uh, yeah, the lowest common multiple of the denominators. About so three and nine. Six, oh, yeah. nine. And it's nine, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so that's the. I want to do the whole numbers first, though. Let's do the whole numbers first. So five, five. plus two, we can do that separate. Yeah, a seven. Okay. And then now we have to worry about the fraction. So what do we do? You're gonna to want to change the denominators both to nine. Mm -hmm. And once you change them to nine, you're gonna to want to multiply the top numbers by what you multiplied the the uh, denominators. Right. Okay. So what do we multiply this by? Oh, you want times three. Right, times three on the numerator and denominator. Yeah. 
and we get six over nine. Yeah. So we've got six nines, and we already have the one nine. So we add those. What do we get? You're going to get seven and seven ninths. Seven ninths, because this six plus one is seven. We can't forget about these other whole numbers. So seven and seven ninths. There it is. Good job. Good job, Thomas. Hitting it. Okay, now Donkey Kong, all the way oh, from ColecoVision. No, I'm from Greenbow, Alabama. Okay, from Alabama. Right, Greenbow. Alabama, the home of Alabama. Um, so. All right, hold on one second, please. So C minus D. How do we do it, Mr. Uh, Donkey Kong? Okay, so C is 5 over 6, so it's 5 over 6 minus 1 over 9. Right. Okay, how do we do that? You gotta I don't have much room, so I'm not gonna write that part yet. Bless you. You gotta um get um to have the same denominator. Excellent. How do we do that? You multiply five over six by three and Good. one over okay, nine. Hold up. Now, how did we find that out? We're rushing a little because we don't have that much time. But we had to find out that six and nine common denominator, right? Six, twelve, eighteen, nine and eighteen. Okay. So he already did that, he just kind of skipped it. Okay, so we needed to get them to 18, that's why it's times 3, 6 times 3. What about 9? A multiply it by, by 2. By 2, excellent, because that makes 18. Now we did this a lot. If you feel like you're not comfortable with this, you guys, then you need to practice at home. Practice at home for tomorrow. Okay, now we've got 15 18s so and we've got two 18s. Now we can subtract them, right? Yeah. yeah. What do you get? 13 over 18. 13 over 18. Good job. Let's give him a hand. Okay, cool. All right, so who do we have now? We Uh-oh. I dropped my names. Uh-oh. <laughs> you are Stingray. Let's hear it for Stingray. Woo! Okay. All right, so let's see. Okay, so this... Can you tell us what to do here? Um, so for five, um, you already know it's going to be multiplication. Because yeah, it's going to be multiplied. Now that's tough, you guys, because there isn't a little dot there. But if they're right next to each other and they don't have a plus or minus, it's multiplied. So it's a little tricky. Okay, so how do we multiply it? Um, so, or, well, first we need to do Dorito Man. Yeah, Dorito Man, because division and multiplication is always Dorito Man. So a negative and a positive makes... Negative. Negative. So we know our answer is negative. How do we multiply them? Uh, you just multiply straight across. Um, and we get? don't need to reduce. To, um, so just write 3 over 5. Well, I already, I, it's or already one. there. So yeah. we multiply them, we get? Um, nine t or negative 9 twentieths. Excellent. Who got that one right? Not me. Awesome. I got it. Okay, good for you. Okay, now what about number 6? Um, so for number six, you also have to do Dorito Man. So. Dorito Man. So again, a negative and a positive makes a negative. Okay, cool. So the answer is going to be negative. So uh, for division, you have to flip or, or find the reciprocal. So it'll the be... The reciprocal of the second number. Yep. So three tenths times what? 25 over 7. 25 over 7. Very good. And now we need to reduce, right? So we divide 10 and 15, 10 and 25 by? Um, 5. By 5. Okay, very good. Divide by 5, you get 2, and everybody? 5. Okay. Now what? What is uh, done? The, um, um, 3 and 7 don't have anything in common, so you just do uh, 3 times 5 and 2 times 7, which gets 3 you... 3 times 5 is? 15. 15, negative 15 over? 14. 14. And and that's it. You could change it though. You could change it to negative one and one fourteenth if you want. But either way, it's fine. Fifteen fourteenths is fine. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now bells should ring really soon. Uh, can you do it quick? I try. All right. And wh who is this? This is Christopher Columbus. Okay, Chris. All right, bet. All right, let's get started. Okay. So. This oh, by the way, everybody at home, reminder: these these answer choices are wrong. I had an error. Yeah. In bye bye. So those are going bye-bye. Yeah, and also these answer choices at the bottom. Okay, go ahead, sir. Okay, the original problem is going to be negative 4 over 5 uh, divided by negative 2 over 5. Yeah. We're going to have to uh, switch it to the reciprocal and uh, make it 5 over 2 of the second one. And then also change it to uh, multiplication. 
And then, right, and now we've got a lot of reducing to do. Yep, huh? for all of this. So okay. for, for this one, it's going to be a 2, a 4. Right, 4 and 2, we and divide by 2, so this uh -huh. is 2 and 1. And then uh, for the 5 and the 5, we just put it to 1. That's right. And now, so 2 times 1 is 2. Yeah, now we and just. And 1 times 1 is 1. Yeah, now it's, it's positive. And okay. it's positive because of Dorito Man. Yeah. Good job. That was excellent. Right, next, next one, we can reduce the 8 and yeah, 6, reduce, right? Yeah, reduce the 8 and reduce the 6. And after now, that, go over to the computer, uh, Chris Columbus, so that we can hear you a little better. Oh, my bad. Okay. okay. So, 8 becomes 4, 6 becomes... Uh, 3. And then, good. after that, we just multiply. Yep, 4 over... 27. Yeah, 4 over 27. Alright, excellent Ooh. job. That was really good. Okay. Now, I think I'm going to do this because the bell's going to ring right now. Uh -oh. Sorry. So two thirds times four over one. Can we reduce? Actually, we can't, huh? So eight over three, and we we can write that as a mixed if you want. So two and two thirds. Good. All right, let's do the last one. Bell's gonna ring, but we still can do the last one and put it on YouTube. Don't back up early. I want to see your exit ticket is writing all this down. So if she spends all this money. We have to subtract all that it's from 15, right? So let's add all these up. What do we get? Anybody do it already? $9.26. Oh. What? Nine dollars twenty cents. Forty and and ninety-five cents. Okay, I'm I'm try I haven't done this though. I think that's right. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that is right. Forty and ninety-five cents, and then we're gonna subtract that from fifty fifteen, right? Fifty fifteen. Minus forty ninety five. Oh man, that's a we had a borrow and stuff. Okay, what did you get, Shanda? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's it. That's it right there. How much? Nine dollars and twenty cents, right? Yeah. Good job. That's it. Bye, YouTube. Bye.